Oh, nice day in California. I just went for a walk in the park. Now, granted, I've had sounds around me most of the day, like you can hear the car going by, the wind's blowing a little bit, but I haven't heard the tinnitus once today. I haven't noticed it. Now, I know that if I look for that sound, I can find it, but it's just, it's better not to, right? <laughs> so I don't, and, uh, you know, just continuing this story about habituation, I'm, what, 15 months or more into it now. I don't think about it very much. It's not important to me. So therefore, the nerves that are used to alert me that there's a danger, alert me that there's a sound that I need to be concerned about, those nerves have quieted down now. I don't have to worry about it. And, uh, my brain has shifted its attention to other things that I enjoy doing, like I just went for a walk in the park. Uh, so yeah, but I haven't once today noticed it, which is great. Uh, I know it's there. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of like, uh, I've got this sort, of, this sort of like a little facade or wall where I know if I go look for it, it's there, but I don't, I don't try to hear it. So, because I know that if I shift my attention toward it, it just, it just I, I can handle it, but I don't need to do that because I've got something better to do. <laughs> so, there's a lot of hope if you can find a way to first start diverting your attention. That, that alone is a very difficult step. It's the most difficult step to get where you can divert your attention toward other things such that you're not thinking about it. And that, that can take some time. Uh, but there's hope. You will do it if you, if you work at it. And I've, I've made lots of videos about all kinds of things you can do to help shift your attention uh, to something else. Uh, and that's what so many 98, 99% of people who are tonight uh, uh, eventually do. But I'm just here to tell you there are ways to do it a little faster. <laughs> And you can get better sleep and you can be less anxious and you can enjoy your day each day. So, you know, what we choose to think about really defines who we are, it doesn't. And this challenge that you're having now is excellent training. <laughs> it's, it's not, it sounds a little weird to say that, but you're getting excellent training on how to, when, you, when presented with something that's very challenging, that's hard not to think about, that you, you get this training to learn how to still think about something else anyway. And once you master this, so you'll be a Jedi. <laughs> and you'll be able to you apply this same methodology to help you in many other parts of your life where you have something really bad happens. Someone, something, or you know, just something, something really challenging is going on. But you need to, keep, to be able to focus and concentrate on something, on what you need to do in the situation. You'll get better at that because as you can conquer this tinnitus thing, how do you conquer it? You don't conquer it by making it go away. You conquer it by making it go away in your thoughts. And then it, 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 it goes away <laughs> in a way. It's still there. And that's the part that's hard for me to explain, I know. And, uh, but, yeah, it just, it just disappears from your thoughts. And your brain can become better at having the thoughts that really serve you well. To have a good day every day and to do wonderful things in your life. So, you're so blessed, <laughs> as am I, to have, have had this great challenge. And you're going to become a great person because of tinnitus. Come on, you can do it. <laughs>